Hey guys, long time no see. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, uh, but I have a cool comeback planned for today. So uh, we're standing next to my staghorn fern because this is actually not an orchid video. Maybe there'll be some guest appearances from some orchids, but we're doing something a little bit different today. Don't worry, it's cool. Let's go check it out. Without further ado, Today, we are going to be trying out the Rose of Jericho, or Resurrection Plant. It is known for its ability to dry out completely and look dead and then come back to life with water. I've heard about it for years online and it always just seemed like something that would be fun to try and I thought this would be a good time to give it a shot. So a couple quick facts about the Rose of Jericho. There's actually two totally different species that both get kind of mixed up when people are talking about the resurrection plant. The true Rose of Jericho is called Anastatica hyrochuntica, which is a single species in a monotypic genus, meaning that it's only that one species in the genus. That's the true Rose of Jericho, but Usually what is sold to people is something different. It's sometimes called the false rose of Jericho, and it's actually a salaginella. It's salaginella lepidophilia, and I have a feeling that might be what we have here, um, but it does have the same kind of uh, cool effect where it can dry out entirely and come back to life like that. Um, it's actually not that uncommon, um, there's actually hundreds of plants that do similar things um, but this one is just kind of popular for it and it has kind of a more dramatic kind of way of opening back up um, it curls up completely like that and you can see why i think this is the salaginella it looks like other salaginellas i haven't done like too much research beyond that to know really for sure but i have a feeling that this is the false rose of jericho because that seems to be more uh, kind of common in the plant and hobbyist trade. And I actually didn't get it from like a actual like plant place. It was kind of like a novelty kind of like hobby online store. So I don't necessarily trust the labeling of it. It was just called the Rose of Jericho. So who knows, but it was only a few dollars and I thought it'd be a fun thing to try. So we're gonna give it a shot today. I have this little plastic dish set up with water. I used some Lekka pellets to line the bottom. That will just hopefully make it so it doesn't sit like too deeply in the water. It's okay if the whole thing gets wet. You don't want it to stay like that, but for the purposes of just reviving it, it would be okay to let it kind of sit all the way in the water, but I'd prefer if it could kind of sit a little bit above. So that's what the Lekka pellets are for. And I wanna use something kind of wide like this cause they, if they're successful, they open up really nicely and wide like that. So I thought this would be a good container to use. If everything goes well, it can actually open up really nicely over just a few hours. We're gonna stick it in here and then I will kind of keep checking back and show you guys the progress and see what happens. Now, there's always the chance that it could be like a dud. I've heard reports of you know, sometimes they just don't do as well. Maybe they weren't stored properly or something like that. So the results may vary. <laughs> so um, if if it's a total dud, we'll try again in another video. Maybe I can get a different one from a more reputable vendor, um, but it was pretty inexpensive anyway. So it's not a huge deal if it doesn't work for us, but we're gonna give it a shot. All right, it's the moment of truth, guys. So the true Rose of Jericho, the Anastatica, is from Asia, but the Salaginella, the one that I think we have here, is actually from, I think, uh, the southern United States and Mexico, which is kind of cool. Um, it's got sort of like a root mass there, so that's why I'm kind of fiddling with it, because I want that to be touching the water, um, but it'll absorb the water foliarly as well. Um, but I might have to play around with the positioning of it depending on how it opens up and stuff. Um, but I'm excited to see what happens. I have to try not to just sit here and stare at it all day. But I do have plenty of other chores to do to keep me busy, 
it's the weekend, which is when I do a lot of my watering for the orchids and feeding my animals and stuff. So I will go do some of that stuff and check back. Oh my God, does that look greener already? It might have already had a bit of green to it, but I swear that looks like it's getting greener already. Okay, I'm excited now. All right, let's go do some other stuff and come back in a little bit. My Miltasia Shelob token was kind of photo bombing my video, so figure we'll check her out real quick. Look how pretty she is. Friggin' fowls everywhere. All right, check it out. This is less than an hour after putting it in the water and it's already opened up quite a bit. One thing that can vary a bit is the coloration. One thing that's kind of striking about the resurrection plants is that they can go from this brown color to a really nice lush green color. Uh, it's a really dramatic kind of color change for them to go to that really nice rich green color in such a short amount of time. Uh, but that said, some of the reports um, say that some of them turn greener than others. So we'll have to see how that does. I hope it greens up a bit. They always green up somewhat, but sometimes they don't green up all the way. So we'll have to see what happens, but I'm excited to see some progress. Yep, this is my life. Whoa. It's just lettuce, dude. Don't get too excited. He got really excited because he thought I was giving him bugs. Those are his favorite. But you have to eat your vegetables first. All right, guys, it's been a full eight hours. I'm tired and sweaty from doing chores all day, but I got all my orchids watered and I've checked out our resurrection plant here. And I think I'm ready to show you guys how we did. So let's check it out. All right. Check it out, here it is. Eight hours after I put it in the water and it's almost totally open. It'll open up a bit more over the next day or two, um, but pretty dramatic change from what we saw this morning. I'm pretty impressed. And it greened up a bit nicer than I thought it would. I was getting a bit nervous earlier on because it just wasn't turning as green and it wasn't looking as nice and full as other examples I've seen, but it surprised me. It actually looks pretty nice now. Um, it's a little bit bare on this side. Um, it's a bit scraggly. Maybe I'll insert a couple pictures of some better um, specimens so you can get an idea of what the uh, fuller plants can look like. Like I said, I'm still happy with it. It was still really fun. I'm glad I tried it. Um, last note here, what do you do with it now? <laughs> so. Uh, it's not an aquatic plant, but you could continue to grow it in the water. You would just have to change the water pretty often and give it drying spells every once in a while. I probably won't keep it in the water. That's just too much maintenance. I have too many plants. And its natural state is to be potted or, you know, growing in soil. It's not, you know, meant to sit in water all the time. And I want the plant to be happy. I want to grow it to the best of my ability, and I don't think... I don't think keeping it in the water is the best thing for it, so I'll probably pot it up. I'll keep you guys updated on it. Maybe we'll do a follow-up video in the future. I'm glad I tried it. It was cool to do something kind of different on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to do kind of more stuff like this in addition to the orchid content. Uh, I just want to introduce some new stuff now and then just to keep things interesting. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would. Uh, that stuff really helps to keep me excited and engaged and um, gives me sort of energy and motivation to come up with these videos. So I appreciate it if you guys subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing. Say hi. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.